According to building records, the new top floor is intended to be lightly loaded. This will reduce the additional load on the building beneath. In the initial drawings for the fifth floor, it shows a roller rink at that location. A roller rink, of course, is a mostly open space with only the weight of people roller skating around on it. But this lightly loaded design is never built. After approval had been granted, the use changed and it was turned into a restaurant floor. And that's nothing like a roller rink. A restaurant, of course, has tables and chairs, the people who are eating, and sometimes some pretty heavy equipment in order to provide those services. This fundamentally changes things. The structural load calculations for the roller rink suggested that it would need to support about one ton for every square meter. When it's changed to a restaurant floor, the load goes up to about one and a half tons per square meter, but they don't recalculate. And that's a very significant increase in load. And photographic evidence from the site reveals clues that this additional floor was inherently weaker than the floors below. A big divergence from the original design was that the columns were supposed to be 80 centimeters in diameter with 16 rebars. But the fourth and fifth floor columns weren't like that when the building was finished. Rebar is the steel reinforcement buried inside the concrete columns. Eight of the 16 columns had been reduced from 80 centimeters diameter down to 60 centimeters diameter. And the amount of reinforcing steel in the columns had been cut in half. That decision has consequences. Reducing the column sizes is going to make the structure weaker. 